These are the biggest myths about climate change. Number one, the sun changes its brightness over an 11 year period, and it's predicted to be the dimmest it's been in centuries in the next couple of years. Some people argue that this refutes the impacts of climate change and that the earth is actually headed into a mini ice age. However, data shows that the luminosity of the sun and the temperature of the earth are actually poorly correlated and that it's human influence that plays the biggest role in climate change. Another common talking point is that renewable energies just aren't financially viable and that it's not fair to expect companies to switch to an objectively more expensive technology, except for the fact that renewable energies are actually cheaper on a per kilowatt hour basis than fossil fuels. One valid point though is that the sun isn't always shining and the wind isn't always blowing, which leads me to my next point. Because of devastating failures like Fukushima and Chernobyl, nuclear energy has gotten the reputation of being unsafe. But the average death toll is actually less than that of natural gas, fossil fuels, and wind energy. Another common argument against nuclear is the inevitable radioactive waste and its environmental impact. But after just 45 years, the radioactivity of the waste reduces to just 0.1% of its initial value. With constant innovation and automation, nuclear energy is becoming more and more of an attractive resource. Lastly, some people argue that because plants and trees require carbon dioxide, they're somehow going to be able to absorb all of the excess we're producing right now. And this just could not be further from the truth. Plants do absorb carbon dioxide, and they did play a big role in maintaining the levels of atmospheric carbon, but that was before the Industrial Revolution. We've upset the fragile natural balance, and we can no longer depend on trees and oceans to absorb the 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases that we emit each year. But in any case, I'm excited to know what you think about renewable resources and their feasibility in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.